everyone and welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've been here before so today i'm going to do something a little bit different on the recipe side it's going to be a sweet potato cheesecake i was trying to figure out a dessert to go in my dinner today and i just so happened to see this recipe on the back of a um pit, frozen pillsbury pie crust so i decided that why not try it out so I am going to link the recipe in the description box, but today we are doing a sweet potato cheesecake. So the first thing I did is I took two sweet potatoes, one large, um, one kind of on the smaller side, and all I did was put them in the oven, coated them with oil, poked some holes in them, put them in the oven, let them cook for about an hour. I was letting them cool down before I moved on to my next step. So I'm about to move on to my next step. Here we go. Okay. So first thing I'm going to do, take my mixing bowl. And I am going to let you guys know, I do have my oven preheating to 350 degrees. And I have a cookie sheet. According to the recipe, it says to put the cookie sheet um, in the oven while it's preheating. So that's what I did. But so right now my cookie sheet is in the oven as it's preheating. And while I'm mixing these ingredients, then I guess I'll take it out once everything is mixed in ready to be poured into the frozen pie crust. So the first thing we are going to do is we're going to blend our cream cheese. Okay, so here I have my cream cheese. According to the directions, you do not want it to soften. So you do not want it to sit out and soften at room temperature. You want this cold. If I can open it. I always have the hardest time opening these things. Always. So I just got this out of the refrigerator. And I'm just going to put it in my mixing bowl. Like so. Move this on out the way. We're also going to add our sugar to this, which is going to be a fourth of a cup. So right here I have my fourth of a cup. I have my white sugar. Next step, we're going to blend this. I'm going to use my mixer and we're going to blend this until it's blended pretty well. Then we're going to add in one egg and then blend that as well. So here we go. Right. So 
So now I'm going to take my one egg. Right here. And we're going to crack it in there. And we're also going to blend this now until well combined. light and fluffy all right so once you do that we are going to put this to the side all right guys so the next thing we're going to do is start mixing together our sweet potato pie topping that's gonna go on top of the cheesecake. There will be two layers. It'll be the cream cheese cheesecake and then it'll be the sweet potato topping. So to do that, we were gonna use the food processor. Okay, so here we have our food processor. I'm gonna get my sweet potatoes. Here are my two sweet potatoes that I've cooked in the oven. So all I'm going to do now It just kind of open up my sweet potatoes. And I'm going to spoon them out, well, fork out <laughs> sweet potatoes and put them in the food processor. process this until the sweet potatoes are nice and smooth so here we go Sweet potatoes are nice and smooth. We are going to mix all of our sweet potato topping ingredients together. So the first thing I'm going to do here is put my sweet potato. mixture in here So, 
this thing we're going to add in here is going to be two-thirds cup of half and half. Pour that in there. We're also going to add ground cinnamon, which would be half a teaspoon. So here I have my ground cinnamon. And I'm going to take a Half a teaspoon. A fourth a teaspoon of ground ginger. So here I have my ground ginger. Fourth a teaspoon of ground ginger. Fourth a teaspoon of ground nutmeg. So. Like an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. Half a cup of brown sugar. All right, so here's our half a cup of brown sugar. You just want to make sure it's packed in the packed in there. All right, so okay. And we also need to add in an egg. Ooh. I'm going to use my whisk and I'm going to whisk this mixture together, make sure it's mixed up real good. And then we're going to move on. So here we go. to do is get our frozen pie crust out of the freezer. I'm using the Pillsbury pie crust deep dish and there's two in here um, and like I said if you look on the back right here here's the recipe for the layered cream cheese sweet potato pie that we are attempting to make. <laughs> no but it's a very simple easy recipe. Um, so it should be fine if you want to make this. So now I'm just going to take one out. So that was kind of wonky. Okay, so I'm going to take this one out. Let's put this back. Maybe use that for something else. All right, so first thing we're going to do is 
get our cream cheese um, cheesecake mixture and we're gonna put this in the bottom so as you see I'm just using my spatula and I'm just gonna put it in the bottom here that gets in there I'm gonna kind of use my spatula to just spread it make it even just spread it along the bottom of the pie crust kind of flatten it out like so all right so we have our cream cheese cheesecake filling in the bottom next thing we're going to do is take our sweet potato mixture i'm going to take my spoon here i'm going to give it a little bit of a little bit of more of a mix just to make sure everything is incorporated I'm just going to take my spoon and just gently just place the sweet potato. cheese cheesecake filling on the bottom and we have our sweet potato mixture on top what I'm going to do now is set this on my cookie sheet that's in the oven so we're going to cook this for about 50 to 60 minutes at 350 degrees and then I'm going to come back show you guys what it is and what it's looking like see you then all right guys so my pie actually cooked for about an hour and 20 minutes an hour and a half maybe i left it in um it was still pretty jiggly and when i checked it the knife did not come out clear so after an hour i left it in there for like another 20 to 30 minutes i checked it again and it did come out clear so this is what we're looking like now it has been cooling on my mat for about 35 minutes now so the next thing we are going to do with our pie is we're going to wrap it and I'm going to put it in the refrigerator so it can get cold and it can set for about three to four hours um, and then after three to four hours 
I will be taking it out of the refrigerator, slicing it, and then showing you guys what it is, giving it a nice taste test. But this smells delicious. It has completely scented up my whole home. It smells great in here. Um, I do love sweet potatoes. I'm not the biggest fan of sweet potato pie. I can eat it, but here and there, it's not a, can't eat it often. Um, I know y'all gonna light me up in the comments, but <laughs> I like sweet potatoes. I like sweet potato pie, just not all the time. So, um, but my love, he loves sweet potato pie. He loves um, cheesecake. So I thought this mixture would be perfect for him and I know he's gonna love it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the refrigerator. So by the time we finish eating dinner and relaxing a little bit from the day, we'll be able to slice this. So like I said, I'm just gonna take some plastic wrap and I'm going to wrap this. I'm going to put this in the refrigerator and then I'm going to come back to you guys in about four hours and show you guys what we have created today. See you then. Okay guys, so here is the pie. As you can see, a chunk of it is missing. <laughs> but here is the pie. What I'm going to do now is cut a slice so you guys can see the layers. After you take it out of the oven, um, let it cool for like 30 minutes. Just let it cool down before putting it in the refrigerator. After 30 minutes, I wrapped it up and put it in the refrigerator. It sat in the refrigerator for about five hours. And then, as you can see, after five hours, this happened. <laughs> but I'm going to cut a slice, so here we go. And I will say it was very, very good. I liked it. So, as you can see, you can see the cheap cream cheese um, cheesecake at the bottom. And then you have the sweet potato on top. Yum, 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 yum. I don't know if you guys can see the layers in there. The cheesecake on the bottom and the sweet potato on top. This was a very nice pick. It was very good. It's not too sweet, but it is sweet. But it's just not super sweet. But yeah, you guys should try it. So, I will see you guys in the next video. Next time, make sure half of the product is not gone before I finish my video. Um, so yeah, see you guys in the next one. Bye!